Alright guys, it's Jonesy here. I know it's been a while. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and this is it guys. This is the official finished product of Project Heavy Duty. We um, need to go over the paint, hydrographics, and wiring in this one. As you guys can see, there is no more fake gray plastic. We did the mirrors, step sides, and bumper all in, um, it's a bed liner, comes in an aerosol spray can, and it's got a cool texture to it. Uh, we just want to get rid of that fake plastic look. And we did the headache rack in matte black. We did all of the frame in matte black. We did the salt spreader in matte black um, and the plow mount we did in a gloss black just to make it look a little bit different. So if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos, um, basically what we did is we took a Kid Trax Dodge Ram fire truck. And we converted it into a work truck with a working V plow and dual wheels, dualies, it was dualies in the back but these are actually from a whole different brand um, and we did four wheel drive so it's got um, 775 VEX Pro motors in the front and back and the inside here we've converted it over to a variable speed so it's just like a real gas pedal it's on a potentiometer, the further you push it the faster it goes um, all that stuff is underneath here um, we're going to probably do, have to do separate stuff for the electronic speed controller. We get our products from Wesley over at East Coast Power. So look for videos on that kit. Um, it's a pretty straightforward kit. He's got complete instructions. Um, and this is 24 volts. We've got one battery under here it's a 26 amp hour 12 volt Gruber battery that is from a mobility cart and we installed the other battery in the front here directly over the front axle for better traction um, it just works great plus we needed room for that giant battery I never weighed them but uh, they're pretty big um, oh also we did the uh, shock towers here we painted them um, gloss red and gloss black so that's pretty much the paint um, we do have a couple little things we need to finish up the ram oh I didn't talk about the grill we got to do the ram it's the uh, grill badge here we did some hydrographics in the front here okay so we got our film cut the shape you can see it looks basically like wrapping paper called film and it comes in a roll and there's a lot more to it than the youtubers make it look like but uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set that on the water and let it hydrate See we've got a timer here. Typically it's 60 seconds for a 90 degrees, but we're at 80 degrees, a little bit lower, so we're gonna let it soak a little bit longer. And you can see that it shrinks up and as water hydrates into the film itself, it starts to expand back out. Okay, so we're gonna activate it. Turn it into 
Next one. Uh, we did, these are skulls. It's basically a pattern that we thought would look cool, but it's hard to die, uh, to tell that those are skulls. You have to look kind of close. It looked really cool when we did our crazy cart in it. And we were gonna do the wheels in it, but because you can't even tell that they're demon skulls, we just did a matte black um, on the wheel treatment there, so. So we got to paint this still, and we didn't take off the gas cap cover. We're going to do some diesel only decals. So those are the only two things we got to paint. All right, now that I got that out of the way, we'll get into the electronics. Holy nightmare of an electronics job. Uh, this will probably be where I put some pictures of what it looks like under the dash. Here's what about 10 hours and an imagination will bring you. So we got dual voltmeters, one for each battery. They have to run on a relay here so that they don't see each other. And of course we got the winch. I'm sorry, plow. I don't know why I always say winch. So that's up and down. And then the B. And then this is the coolest thing because I've never seen this. But this right here controls our custom made salt spreader. And we wired it into the ESC so when you press the gas pedal, so it's proportionate to when he goes forward. And we added a diode so that when it's in reverse, It doesn't come on. So uh, I plan on this guy making some money doing some, uh, whatever you call it, sidewalk salting and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this thing's turning out pretty dang sweet. We added another horn. Uh, it does have the sound box, but we added an amplifier to it. So we really didn't need to add the second horn, but my son wanted it, so we threw it in the cart. All right, um, basically this thing's ready to run. It just needs to be cleaned up and put back together. Here it is, the diesel idling. So that's what we did there with amplifying it. Um, it's kind of nice that you can adjust the volume. But when we're doing parades or like fairs or any kind of expo, we want to be able to say, that sounds like a diesel idling over there. So we added that amplifier. And this right here, this is the plow up and down. So obviously down is plow down, up is plow up. And then the middle ones here, uh, these are for the lights. So we've got two separate circuits. We've got headlights, tail lights, and then on this one, we've got the cab running lights and the ambers in the osmium superfluxes in the headlight bezel. So that'll be a kind of a cool cruising look. Just the ambers. And then when it's dark out, as you'll see in some of the night running videos, because I got this done late at night. 
So we've got some eagle eyes, um, bright blues, and then we also got the high intensity fog lights in the bumper. And in the, if you notice in the bumper, we did a bunch of cutouts. Uh, we'll probably show a before and after. It just makes it look like a real bumper now, not a plastic cheapie. So those are the lights, tail lights. And I know I went over this a little bit in some of the other videos, but um, we took the stock gas pedal and we turned it into the brake pedal. So when you press the brake, um, the brake lights come on. So that's why those upper ones aren't on. And then it used to have a big shifter here for reverse. Um, we just switched it out to a simple um, toggle here. So you put it in reverse. We also we have a reverse beeper and also the reverse lights, backup lights. So that's that's the lighting. Um, yeah, I think I got all the lights covered. So, let's, since we're right back here, we'll talk about this salt spreader. We took one of those Scott's brand turf builder, just, it's a broadcaster spreader, and we actually took a Power Wheels gearbox, believe it or not, it's the same one that we use, it's a number seven, I think we used a 13 tooth, and I'll be honest, we haven't tried it yet, because I literally just finished making this uh, shield um, we just took a gallon ice cream jug because we didn't want salt getting into the gearbox and the motor and all that so we just cut up um, the gallon thing and the last thing to do is just to mount it um, probably I'm gonna obviously end up painting it black but I want to make sure that this works first um, this right here is the strobe controller it's got three different modes. I'm going to turn these off so you can tell which ones are strobe. So I believe we used 13 Osmium Superfluxes. Uh, we snaked them through into the mirrors. So we've got them in the mirrors. We've got six back here. And then we've got one up on the headache rack. Um, so this is it. And yesterday it dawned on me that this is literally done it's ready for an auto show it's ready for a county fair now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna work on next so after this I'm gonna do some filming of having you guys vote and tell me what project you guys want to see next we've got a lot of different products projects in this shop here's quick pan. I'm not going to get into the details, but uh, we've got lots of stuff uh, that we need to get done. Last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is we're also going to film another uh, separate video of how much does this cost? I posted this uh, a, a quick running video on Facebook. It went bananas. All of a sudden I have 400 friend requests and everybody wants to know how much. I'm not going to say the price in this video. But you guys leave a comment below. How much did this truck cost me to build? Not how much am I charging for labor, but how much do you guys think is in parts here? How much money did this truck cost to build? Just take, just uh, leave your comment below, guys, and I'll give you some really uh, good clues. The truck itself, in uh, part one of the unboxing, brand new, this Kid Tracks Ram cost $450. Okay? These three Fergelli premium actuators shipped from British Columbia, $450. So that'll help you guys so you don't say it costs $900. Um, that's just for those two items. Don't forget, we've got six wheels. Five motors, counting the one in the spreader. Um, what are some other big cost items? Because you guys are going to be shocked at how much those tires are going to cost. And in the next episode that you're going to see is I'm going to break down the cost 
of every single itemized part on this with a price and then at the bottom I'll give the grand total and I'm not gonna lie guys I was shocked um, this stuff just adds up so um, yeah I think there's 26 LEDs in here and some of them like those high intensity ones are not cheap um, I'm also not including any of the cost for my welding uh, rod or welding gas um, there's three cans of paint it was involved high high gloss matte and the bed liner and there's just a bunch of other little things guys um, you know two voltmeters three relays uh, an ESC kit I know that there's a lot of it that you guys can't see but I feel like in the nine parts of this build um, I've kind of discussed it um, the spreader I am including in into the price of it we paid thirty dollars for the spreader itself Luster steel a gearbox and RC racing motor so check it out look it over get out your pen and paper let's play a little game uh, the, the person that comes the closest um, man we'll send you guys a, a sidewalk outlaw shirt how about that we're gonna do our first ever contest don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and let us know what you think we like the positive criticism um, all right, that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching.